The second excerpt for uh, the 1112 Allstate Audition is um, from the first movement of Mendelssohn's Italian Symphony, the Fourth Symphony. Um, this is a great excerpt. It's a very tough excerpt too. So this is going to take a lot of your time and, 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 and practice, but you're going to get out of it so much. It's going to make all your other playing better. So this is a great excerpt to learn. Um, I would suggest first listen to the piece. Um, uh, you can go to YouTube, um, you can find a recording on iTunes, you can find it on Google Play, um, and, uh, and listen to it. Uh, it has a very light, fun, exciting feel to it, and that's what you want to sound like when you play. Um, it doesn't need to be heavy, um, uh, it, it has to have just a very forward-moving feeling. It is marked Allegro Vivace, so it's marked quite fast. Uh, the tempo marking um, that is given to us is 152. That's a good solid marking. Um, that's uh, dotted quarter note equals 152. I would suggest uh, also practicing at half that, which is 76, I believe. Um, so if you're practicing in bigger beats, always practicing in bigger beats is a great idea. I would even practice, if your metronome can go that low, practice at half of 76. So basically, you're getting one metronome beat per bar. That's going to really help the flow happen. But before you can do that, you need to practice slowly. This is a piece that really, really needs to be very even. Um, it's, it's easy to rush. It's easy to um, uh, skip. Um, uh, some eighth note rests, uh, so you want to be very, very careful. The rhythm in this is going to be the most important thing altogether. Um, the other very important thing in this is the bow stroke. And uh, the bow stroke is uh, for the, uh, let's see, around measure 89. As crisp as you can get it but very, very soft, very, very soft. Um, uh, you can't do it with the arm. You can't do it with, with, with all the arm. That is way too many big muscles trying to play softly. So you have to do it with your wrist and fingers. And I would practice just the stroke. I would practice just that stroke for at least two minutes a day. Just getting comfortable playing. Your third finger is gonna be integral in being able to get this. You're not gonna get a crisp sound unless your third finger is really over the bow and controlling it very well. Um, in this hard section at the end of the excerpt, um, you also need to be careful of your string changes. Uh, I know that's where my, my biggest weakness falls, is trying to keep it very even while also doing all the string changes. So think about your elbow level and what you need to do while at the same time keeping that wrist and fingers as light as possible and keeping that third finger nice and glued to the bow. Um, musically speaking, I mentioned earlier that it needs to have this nice flow. Uh, it doesn't need to be da 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 uh, listen to the recording and find out who has the melody. And in your head, when you're performing it, I want you to hear that melody in your head. Uh, don't skip any of the rests in there. I want you to subdivide like crazy. Always subdivide in your head. It's one of the most important things you can do in orchestra, one of the most important things you can do in any of your playing. Subdivide as much as possible. Rhythm, again, I can't stress how important the rhythm is. Um, oh yes, there was one other thing before I played it I wanted to mention is that um, I have downloaded, uh, you should see on the web page, um, a file that is this music with my bowings and fingerings in it for the excerpt. 
Um, this is just a suggestion uh, for uh, those of you who are looking for a little help on, on how to do the technicalities of it. Your teacher might have other um, ideas on what to do. Absolutely. Go with your teacher. They, they have a solid idea of how to do this. Um, the music, just so you know, I downloaded from a website called imslp.org. Um, it's uh, a great website if you haven't uh, seen it before. Um, all the music that is no longer under copyright, which is most of classical music, um, you can go there and you can download parts, you can download a score, you can really check out anything. It is such a, a, a wonderful place to go. So that's where I got the music. I put my own bowings and fingerings in and I've posted it on the website for you guys to check out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 